despair, a charred hellscape governed by roaming bands of outlaw vigilantes. Our political leaders are smart, dedicated professionals. They've been in nonstop meetings trying to prevent this from happening. How are those meetings going? Temperatures began rising after House Majority Leader Eric Cantor suggested the two sides were too far apart to come to a deal. That's when the president got very agitated. He said, don't call my bluff, Eric. Boy, the name Eric really takes the urgency and steam out of an argument, doesn't it? <laughs> don't call my bluff, Eric. <laughs> really, it's a name only rivaled by Craig and Susan. With a, I will destroy you, Craig. <laughs> truth susan time now for your political ticker with tim the host of uh, morning briefing on sirius xm botus live from washington good morning tim farley good morning sheldon i'm sorry that's an old billy crystal line i just couldn't avoid that one <laughs> ali uh the name game is that what they're calling names now actually it seems like there may be some idea of what they're going to be doing i know the president is speaking today there is no meeting of the big octomob and uh, Speaker Pelosi, well, former Speaker Pelosi, the minority leader, Nancy Pelosi, yesterday said, let's not go beyond the pale. We don't want to go to Camp David. But there may be a way out of this. And we'll be seeing this at some point during the day. You mentioned what Jessica Yellen was saying. I think we're looking at this backup option, which may be the Senator Mitch McConnell option. It's something they're looking at very closely. We'll just have to see how it turns out. I don't think anyone really knows at this point. He's right there, by the way, in the middle of the uh, the octomob shot. I will always remember that you you started that, the octomob. Those are the eight uh, congressional leaders who go to the White House and meet with the president. They're not doing that today. Instead, the president is holding his own press conference at 11 a.m. Eastern, which we'll cover. Hey, Tim Farley, uh, you went to that game last night, the baseball game, uh, which I didn't think was, uh, I, I wouldn't have advised anybody being involved in a, in a competition between Democrats and, and Republicans that involve bats and balls. But how did it go? It was actually a very nonviolent event. It was especially for the Republicans, by the way, because Cedric Richmond, the uh, freshman congressman, highly touted coming out of uh, the New Orleans district, pitched an amazing game. It was a no-hitter until uh, near the very end. Then he struck out, I think, 13 Republicans. And uh, just a fantastic night on the mound for him. 8-2, to the final score. And it was a chance to sort of escape the, uh, the hurly-burly, if you will, of the Capitol. Just a couple of Babe Ruth shots away from the building itself, but it seemed to grow to bed last night. With no humidity, kind of a strange thing in July, and uh, and really a fun game, and a lot of people raising money for the Boys and Girls Clubs and the Literacy Council of Washington, which was really the purpose of the game. Good. Well, I'm glad some good and uh, activity is going on in Washington, and uh, take the no humidity when you can get it. It's going to be a hot summer for you guys. <laughs> Tim, good to see you, uh, as always. Tim Farley, the you host too, of Morning Briefing on Sirius XM POTUS.